but you know, like you get a lot, of, you get a lot of great young fighters like Devin Haney, right? To have the discipline and mindset he has. I mean, I've been watching him down the gym. He lives and breathes the sport of boxing. It's not about going out. It's not about you know going to clubs. It's just about boxing. And some people, like he hasn't been through the rough times yet in the sport. He will, but it's almost like he appreciates their coming and he's going to do everything he can to avoid them. This is a guy who has been through that and he's a great role model and actually like I want him to sit down with young fighters that we represent and say Tevin tell them tell them about the other side you know he didn't come into the sport get to 21 and 0 sign a multi-million dollar contract although he did eventually but he had to go through the rough side so he appreciates it much more he's a perfect guy to sit down with young fighters and say you have no idea like about the other side so you better keep training hard you better keep the mindset because if you lose and you go back to where he went to you may never come back because you might not be strong enough so he 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 will he must look at these fighters like Devin and think, wow, you're so lucky. Like you was given the opportunity. And by the way, his skills have got him there, and his amateur pedigree. It's not just like someone rocked up one day and went, yeah, you. Like he worked hard, Devin Haney. I've been watching him in the gym. He puts his whole life into boxing. He travels around for top class sparring, and he's an extraordinary talent. So you know, we're really excited to work with him. Absolutely, I spoke to. Uh Fighting this weekend, that's a good fight. Scott Quigg, there's another good fight, one of our guys, but I want to take him after July, I want to take him back to Philly. You know, when we talk about fight cards, that was a Friday night as well in Philly that we had right. to do that show. The so day, we want, the night before Earl Spence. Yeah, exactly. Though. So we want to do we want to go Saturday night. Last time we had I think nearly six thousand in Philadelphia. They loved yeah, it. It was it was yeah, it was a it, I know, I know, too, I know. Mick Mill was on that night as well. <laughs> but that was a good crowd and yeah, a vibrant crowd, crowd yeah. and they loved it. And I know that everyone in that arena that night will be back especially if he's in a big unification fight. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And how big a deal is it to work with everybody, regardless of promotion or the politics, but to get your fighters, regardless of who they are, that top fight? Like, honestly, look, like, I can't tell you, being involved in something like this week with Jacobs Canelo, fuck the money. I mean, the money's there, and it's our job to make sure the fighters get it. But you can't take away that buzz of seeing your guy up there, walking in a ring with him, being part of the team that week. And that's why I want Tevin to unify the division. Because I want to see him go on and add more belts to the collection. Be a great. Because I know he's got the mindset and the ability to do it. But you have to provide him with the opportunities. That's why I'll never restrict him for taking another huge payday or another big opportunity if it means creating a legacy. And not just a financial legacy, but a legacy within the sport. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy to work with anyone. You know, we've got this... Someone asked uh, Devin Haney yesterday. You know, you signed with Eddie Hearn. He said, yeah, you wouldn't believe how many people phoning me up saying don't sign with Eddie Hearn whatever you do don't sign with Eddie Hearn I'm talking about advisors I'm talking about broadcasters I'm talking about so that's what we're up against but like people like Tevin are the guys where I can say to other fighters I tell you what ask Tevin ask Tevin Farmer because the best spokesman you can have is a fighter so I feel like I said to and when I signed Tevin I probably said to him speak to Danny Jacobs you know speak to Demetrius Speak now, speak to Devin Haney, speak to Tevin, because these are the best spokespeople for you. If you treat them fair and you treat them with respect and you deliver for the fighters, they're not going to say bad things about you. So that's it, what it's about for us, is getting credibility away from the haters saying, no, don't go to design, don't go to Eddie, you can't do that. Oh, so it'll be a disaster for your career. What planet do you live on? What do you want to do? You want to box once a year and get told, oh, there's a date coming, there's a date coming, that's a date coming. Exactly, or box five times a year, make a load of money and be part of a team that's enjoyable to be around. Well, this be safe to say that this is the biggest week, week of the zone history so mm. far and, and match with boxing? Yeah, uh, match with boxing USA. Yeah. For sure, yeah, we've done, we've done some huge events worldwide. This is a massive event. You know, it's all very well saying pay-per-view is dead. And, you know, American fight fans are forking out 80, 90, 100 dollars every month for one night. Look at the last three pay-per-views. No, no guy has won a round in a B-side corner. On the undercard, no guy has won a round in a B-side corner. Yet you guys in America are still willing to pay 80 or 90 or 100 dollars for a night of pay-per-view. You could spend that and get the entire year on pay-per-view. And what are you going to get in that year? You're going to get Canelo Jacobs. You're going to get Usyk heavyweight debut at the end of the month. You're going to get Anthony Joshua's American debut. You're going to get the return of Golovkin. That's just in the next five weeks. Then you've got Canelo or Jacobs versus Golovkin. You might have Joshua against Deontay Wilder. You might have Tevin Farmer against Tank. Demetrius against you in an undisputed fight. That's, that's all for the night of one pay-per-view. Like, how can you even consider not buying the zone for a year? It's like, it's, it's giving value away.